Hey Zaria, this is Candy or Victoria or Queen V and I'm here to do the Bible study. I know you've been waiting on it and I said I was going to do it and so today is the start of that and I hope you had a good day at school and um, we're going to go ahead and start this Bible study. I'm going to pray first. Father God, in Jesus name, I thank you for this opportunity to have Bible study and to to help Zaria, know your word and anybody around that wants to know along with her, Father God, we just give you praise for your Holy Spirit, giving us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of this word. And we thank you, Lord God, that this word will not return void, but it will accomplish what it said it will, and it will prosper in the thing you sent it to. And so, Father God, I just give you praise that whoever hears this word, that it's going to prosper in, in them. And cause them to be better and, and have better lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so first of all, I know Claire told me you had a Bible. And I have a Bible. Mine is a King James Version. Um, There are different versions of the Bible. Now, the King James Version has a thee and thou and if it and stuff like that. But if you get like a new international version or a new living translation, then that will be... Um, something you may want to look into because each one reads differently. It says the same thing, but it says it in a different way so that you can understand it. So a lot of people say they don't understand the King James Version. I do, but you may not. So you may want a different version, Bob, but you may already have that. But anyway, um, the first thing, Zaria, is to learn the books of the Bible. Okay, so the book, the Bible is... 66 books in one. Okay. So you got 27 books in the new Testament. And then you got, I think 39, 39 in the old Testament. So you got 39 books in the new Testament. Uh, you have 27 in the old Testament and in the front of your Bible should be the table of contents and it'll list all the books of the Bible. So if somebody say turn to so-and-so you can, um, you can find, you can look in it. If you don't know where the books are, you can look in the table of contents, see what page it says it on and turn to that page. And then you can find the chapter and verse. Okay. So the, um, first thing you can do is learn the books of the Bible and you got you can start with either 10 or 20 at a time. Just learn about where they are. So if they say, know which book is in where. Like if they say Matthew, we know that's in the New Testament. If they say Isaiah, that's in the Old Testament. So you'll know where to turn. Okay. Now, uh, the first scripture I want you to learn, Zaria, is in 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verses 16 and 17. So you will turn to... Um, you would turn to that chapter. Second Timothy is in the New Testament. So you would turn to the New Testament. And so second Timothy chapter three, verses 16 and 17. And I'm going to read it for you because this is like kind of like a foundational scripture that you need to know. And when I say foundational, it means that um, this is what you build on. You need to know this in order for whatever you're reading to make sense. Okay. So, uh, second Timothy chapter three, verse 16 says all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. And if you look at verse 17, it says that the man of God may be perfect thoroughly furnished unto all good works. So in order for you to, um, for the Bible to help you, you have to know that it was inspired by God. Men wrote it, but the Holy Spirit was telling them what to write so that it could help the people in the future like us. Okay. And it, it even helped the people, people back then. So, um, we have to understand that this is the word of God, that he approved it, put his stamp of approval on it, and that he is the one that's going to 
to um approve this and he's he he's gonna make it come alive to us make it real to us okay so know that all scripture is given by the inspiration of god you know holy men of god wrote it and as god was dealing with them through the holy spirit so know that okay so learn the books of your bible from genesis to revelation like i said you can learn 10 or 20 at a time or you can start with the old testament new testament however you want to do it um, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. This is like our first uh, Bible study. And um, read this scripture that I just said, third, uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16 and 17, so that you'll understand that the Bible is just not a storybook or just a book that somebody made up. It came from God. He is the creator of the heaven and the earth. He is our creator. You know, he's our maker. He created everything. And these words that are in this book called scriptures are the words that we need in order to make it in life. Not only in this life, but to make it in the life to come. So we have to know and believe this. It's not just reading it like it's a book. It has to be in our hearts and our thinking so that when we make decisions, um, our decisions will be uh, based on the word of God. OK, and I know that might seem like <laughs> a little bit strange to you, but, you know, it's it's very important to know that. And so when we um, meet again next week, we will I guess we'll. We'll see. We'll see where we're going to go. And um, if you have any questions, Zaria, type them in the comments. Or if you want to tell me something, type in the comments below this video. So I don't know what device you're using, but if you're on a computer, uh, you just scroll. Well, I don't think you have to scroll down to type a comment if you're on a computer. You just go down to where it says comment and then type. If you're on the phone or something, the iPad, you may have to scroll down to type the comment. Okay. Um, so if you have any questions, again, you can type them in the comments and uh, in the show more or description, I will post, you know, some of what I said and I'll post the scriptures for you. And um, I think that's it for now. So because I can't record for, record for very long. So I I just want you to get Second uh, Timothy chapter three, verse 16. So that you will know when we're having Bible study that these words just didn't come from men, that they came from God. And so in order for you to get to know God, you need to know his word and what is being said. And so that's all I have for today. And if you have, like I said, if you have any questions, just type in the comments below and then, you know, we can answer some of your questions. I can answer your questions. And then we can communicate that way. So each video, you will have the opportunity to type in your comments or questions. Okay. All right. Love you. God bless. Until next week. So have fun.